All right, hey guys, I'm Tom Core, and this is yet another trick from the living room with my Tricks of the Trade series. Let's learn to kiteboard together whilst we get through this quarantine and also just take the time to start visualizing some of your kiteboarding moves so that when you come out of this lockdown, you can be ready to progress in your mind because a lot of progression comes from visualization and visualization just gets your head in the game when it comes to knowing exactly what to do during a trick, whether it's with the bar, whether it's with the grabs and your hands and your feet, your core. Um, there's a lot to different kiteboarding tricks, so it's good to spend some time just thinking about them, watching them, and uh, yeah, really, you know, make sure you get yourself mentally prepared for getting back on the water because we're all going to be excited as soon as we get let out of these rooms and uh, yeah, you want to, you want somewhere to go to. Right, so if you've got any questions, make sure you comment below, like the video if you could and would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. So today we have got the back roll hand drag transition, which I know that has been very popular as a baseline trick during my slice of life camps. It's a really good trick to practice a lot of different skills from kite control, hand position, transition wise and rotation wise. So let's get into the back roll hand drag transition. Because this is a transitionary trick, you come into it with speed like every other trick, but you will be raising your kite up to 12. With a transition, you want to take off in one direction and then land back in the other direction. So you don't want to approach the takeoff with too much forward momentum. You want a little bit of speed and power so that it's going to give you enough lift to keep you off the water around the transition. Right into this trick, progressively rising your kite up to 12 o'clock. As your kite hits around 11 o'clock, you want to dig in your heel edge, use your upper body to lean back against the kite and scoop upwind. Then fly the kite the last degree up to 12 o'clock, leave it at 12 o'clock. It's very important to remember that you've got your back hand in the center of the bar so you don't oversteer the kite whilst you're doing the back roll. When you cut into the back roll, keep your hand in the middle of the bar, let go with your back hand so that you can drag it in the water almost immediately on takeoff. Throw your head into the back row and lean your hand back into the water so that you're dragging your hand behind you. Rotate around the back row using your head. Whilst you're doing this and you're about halfway around the back row, make sure you pull the kite with your back hand as hard as you can so that that kite then goes into a kite loop. This is the real trick that will stop you needing to fly your kite too delicately during this. Pull as hard as you can so that your kite then loops and loops all the way around so that it can take you back off in the other direction. You can do this without a kite loop and just dive the kite and steer it back up again, but it's a lot harder to land smoothly with speed if you don't loop the kite. Once the kite loops all the way around and heads back in the opposite direction and you've stomped it, you ride away. 